Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock, and hold on to your hats because we're going to turn a front-facing image into a back-facing image. I'm going to be using some new release stamps from Ellen Hudson. And the other day I used this one, the Holiday Shopper Lady, and made a card with that. And I will link to that at the end of this video. In this video, I'm going to use Book Lady and show you how to do some cool things with her. The Ugly Sweater Accessories is really fun. You can use it on any of the ladies that you have. And the Winter Window, which I'm going to actually use, use as a fall window instead of a winter window in this video. So I have set up my girl to be able to be stamped in the place where I want her to peek through the window. And I'm gonna have her in the same position on both cards, so I'm gonna stamp her twice. But the second time I'm gonna stamp her, what I wanna do is mask out the inside. That's how I'm gonna reverse her direction. So I need to cut out all of those outside lines, but I need the mask to stay in the same place. How was I gonna do that? Well, I made my eclipse tape travel off the paper so it's stuck to the misty and now I can do all of my fancy trimming with a fingertip knife and kind of get in there and remove that outside line. I just want to go inside the outer edge because what I want basically is the silhouette of her because I'm going to turn around all of the elements of the stamp so that she looks like she's facing away from us rather than facing toward us. You could alternatively just stamp that outside edge by only inking that outside edge, and that seemed way more painful to me than this did. <laughs> but in order to maintain the position of this, I, did, I couldn't pull the whole thing off. I couldn't pull all those outlines off. So I did make two cuts in it so that I could still be stuck to the misty. I lifted up my mask, stuck my paper under, and prayed real hard that this was all going to line up right. I didn't know if it would or not, and I'm glad I filmed it so I can remember and try this again with another stamp sometime. Now it was okay to pull that piece off the bottom, but I did leave it stuck to the misty in case I needed to replace the whole thing and start it all over again. I could at least maybe try to line it up with that bottom piece. So here we go, the great reveal. Look at that, it worked. The part underneath of her feet didn't have lines on it, but I didn't worry about that because the rest of it came out exactly what I was hoping for it to do. So I'm coloring both images at the same time just so you can get an idea of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make her sweater kind of the same sort of sweater, but I have to turn it around backwards and she's facing the other direction. So you might wanna have somebody sit in front of you if you do something like this and turn backwards so you can see where their shirt ends and that sort of thing. And with the gal on the left, she's going to be just popping through the window. I don't need to color her legs <clears throat> because the window is going to cover up the legs. So all I need to cover color is her hair and her, her sweater and stuff. And I'm going to admit now that I forgot to put any shading on her face. So for those of you who like to leave me nasty notes in the comment section that I get to delete and tell me that I missed some coloring, I'm going to tell you right now that yes, I missed some coloring. I, I got so excited about coloring the sweater, I forgot to go back and put shading on her face. But on this particular card, there's so much else to look at that it didn't bother me one bit that she didn't have shading on her face. So that is to tell the rest of you who sometimes forget things or don't know how to shade things or don't feel like doing all that blending, sometimes you don't need to worry about it. I've said before, keep the main thing the main thing. As long as the main idea in the card comes across and the focal point is whatever that main idea is, don't worry about the rest of it. Don't stress yourself out if something doesn't, doesn't come out perfectly. So her... Her sweater on the, the front, on the front facing view, has a lot more detail, so I can put all that nice shading in it. She's sitting in front of the window on the right hand side though, so all I really need to do is give her sweater a little bit of shape to it. I don't need a lot, just a little is gonna be enough. And you can start adding some of that shape just by doing it with your markers 
instead of going in with a pen, because what if you mess something up, right? Here I decided I wanted her sweater to look like it went down further because it just looked funny. It looked like a short sweater before. But then once I added a few lines to separate the back of her, her left side of her back and the back of her right side of the back, it just looked fantastic. So I double checked to make sure that my windows were going to work with the placement and everything. And as I did on the Christmas card, which you have to go see that video, so you'll understand what I mean, I'm tracing my window onto here so I can put my, my scene in there. I want a background scene behind her that's gonna look like her house. And I don't want it to have a lot of detail. I want her to be the focal point of it. I want you to be looking at her and not at what is going on in the background. So I'm putting some regular shapes in there, just regular old rectangles. And I'm gonna use muted colors to do it. I will put a little vase of flowers in here. And the the little, uh, little vase that I drew came out a little bit too saturated even. So I just went over it with the gray, no big deal. Since she is book lady, even though she's not holding a book, I decided to give her a bookshelf in the back, which I accomplished by just putting some lines into an empty kind of rectangle. And if I do that with a bunch of different colors, it'll just start to feel as though it is a, a bookshelf. And I made that little doorway behind her, just some very simple shapes. For the other one, she's going to be looking out the window, and since I wanted it to be a fall card, I'm using a little bit of a fall tree technique from my Autumn Scenes class. If you haven't taken that one, you'll want to. But this type of a design for, uh, for a, a card like this, where you just need a little vignette scene in a window, is perfect for my Scenes classes. So whether you're doing the autumn scenes class or one of the winter scenes class winter wonderland or something like that you could do a little scene in one of these windows and just do this little vignette and you don't have to do a whole card just that little scene you don't even have to put the girl in it just put the scene in the window and it'll look gorgeous now for the outside of one of the one of these the one where we're looking in at her she's looking out the window i wanted something on the outside that i, I didn't want to make the the normal wood slats that I have normally done with wood siding so I decided to make it stone I drew out the putty in between all of the grout in between all the rocks first and then used some warm and cool grays to just scribble in some color in there and give them a little dimension by putting extra color at the bottom then at the top but I kept it all super light because I didn't want the focus to be on that I wanted you to really be looking at her and putting a nice dark window in there was going to make all the difference in drawing that attention to her because this in contrast with all that light color was going to look fantastic. So next is assembly of the window. So I'm going to tape my window inside here, taping it on the back. And then I get, get to just glue it right over top of the image that I colored. So you can see her peeking out at you. So to finish off the card, I just punched a circle around one of the sentiments from the stamp set and stuck that on the front of the card. Really nice way to make a vignette scene. And like I said, you can draw a scene or put any other kind of scene inside that window. Wouldn't that be fun for any of your Christmas stamps that you have? Just get this window and put it out in front and it's gorgeous. Now, for the gal who we've now turned around to be a back-facing image, so we see her back instead of her front, I've trimmed her out by hand, and I included a little bar across the bottom so she'd have some carpet she's sitting on. She does have a very low window there, I guess, doesn't she? <laughs> but she's got dimensional adhesive on the back, and then I put dimensional ad ad adhesive as well on the back of the wall so that that is also popped up away from the trees just slightly. And then all I had to do was add some books to it because she is book lady and she's got some books there to choose from. And then I added a sentiment on a panel just above that sticking underneath of her arm. A book a day keeps reality away. And I'm telling you, I could do with a little less reality right now. 
So this whole card made me just want to go sit and read a book instead of doing anything else. And maybe I really need to do that more often. It's fall and it's a great time to do that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet already, because I put out a ton of videos and I don't want you to miss any because I hope to inspire you to make beautiful things. Thanks so much. Take care.